Hello everyone, welcome to the introductory part of this course. And in this one, I'll be showing you the advantages and disadvantages in building a ROM. Well, let's start off with a very big disadvantage, which is the system requirement. Well, you need 64 gig of RAM and then approximately 6 cores of CPU to begin building a ROM. For me, I use 8 cores and 36 gig of RAM on Google Cloud, which I'll be showing you in the next video because my current machine doesn't support those requirements. So Google uses 72 cores with 64 gig and it takes them 40 minutes to build, which as it will take six hours. Maybe it may take longer than this, but this is it. It says approximately. All right. So this is the system requirement you need. And then you also need a Linux environment. You don't need Windows environment. Also, you don't need Mac OS too. You need a Linux environment like Ubuntu or Debian, Linux Mint. Some people can even use Fedora and it works for them. So it's up to you. Just don't use Windows or Mac. Well, you can do that, but I don't recommend it. So let's is this, this and let me show you another thing advantages and disadvantages for building a rom and installing it on your device well this is the always on display mode of my phone and this one is Ryzen os like i showed you in the previous one well this is the lost screen of it and you can see that at the lost screen we have a very beautiful widget added down here and also if I try to unlock with fingerprint, you can see a very nice animation. You can see that. So you get all these customization features for building a ROM. Let's go to this part. Well, this is how the settings page looks like. And in the settings page, if you click on the personalize, you can see that we have personalized page. And in this page, if you go to the themes, you can change every single aspect of this operating system. Ambient display is basically the always on display mode. So since that, let's keep moving. You know, you get to change the font style, which we have many, many font style. And then you get to change every single aspect of this. So you can see some simple disadvantages of building a ROM. You get a lot of customization feature and just look at this. Let me try and play some music. This is how it is looking in my always on display. And if I go to the lock screen, this is how it's looking. You can see this nice kind of effects when you are playing the music. So, you get this nice one and then you can even get it on your navigation as well. So let me pause the music. Well, you get a lot of customization, even you get pixel features and it is very nice to have those features. Everything is very smooth and you are well nice to go. So as you have seen the little advantage of building this ROM, you get a lot of customization features plus a performance performance is really good at this custom room and then there are a lot of custom room that doesn't come with a lot of customization features and yet there's a lot of uh, performance improvement with the phone so you can see you have the stock android like experience but more customized and nicer also one disadvantage is you get to uh, sacrifice a little bit of uh, your banking app sometimes your banking app doesn't work but it works when you have used when you have passed the play attestation and let me show you rising OS have this play attestation everything here passed already so what you have when i go to the settings i go to toolbox you can see i have uh, enable gms proof so you can spoof the Google Apps and then pass the play, uh, play attestation and you can get the pixel features. And even you can get banking app working. 
and also sometimes when uh, you build a room that is not signed when a room is not signed you uh, you get to not have a banking app working and also whatsapp also doesn't really work for me it doesn't work for some people so that is what uh, that's a disadvantage and i'll show you how to sign the rom so that you can pass the play integrity and if you pass the play integrity you will be free and then you can use banking app and everything else well you can also root the phone and take it another step further you can customize it very very much and then you can do everything you want with everything uh, with the play integrity being passed well i'm using a play integrity passed version and this version is what i built and it's working smoothly as you can see in the video so this is all for this video in the next one we are going to start off with the video.